underground bowel. What was Bell's family background? Bell's grandfather, um, uh, Alexander Bell, dis achieved distinction for the treatment of speech. Bell's father, Alexander Melville Bell, um, was an assistant to Bell. Later, Bell's father became a lecturer at Edinburgh University. Um, and a devel he developed visible speech, a form of teaching the deaf, so the deaf to help them. Um, later, Melville Bell married Eliza Siemens, a talented musician. Later in his life, Bell met Maybelle Hubert while teaching her visible speech. He married her and they had a son. And this is Bell's father. Um, that's his grandfather and that's his mother. And this is a picture of his speech. What were Bell's younger years like? Um, Bell was born second of three sons on March 3rd, 1847 in Edinburgh, Scotland. At age 13, Bell moved away to live with his grandfather. He was already interested in speech. His grandfather taught him a lot about speech. At age 16, he moved away from his family. Around that time, tragedy struck the Bell household. His, um, in 1867, his younger brother died of tuberculosis, a bacterial disease affecting the lungs. A year later, his older brother died of the same cause. To save his only son, Melville Bell took um, Bell to Brantford, Ontario, the new environment health cell. And this is Edinburgh, Scotland, and that's Brantford, Ontario. What was Bell's education? <laughs> um, Bell's grandfather taught Bell a lot about speech. At age 16, Bell moved away to teach. He was a pupil at Western House Academy. Then he went back to university in, um, in Edinburgh and took one year in classical studies. Um, in 1868, he took over his father's job and his father became a lecturer in America. Bell, after moving to Ontario, he started a, a year in electrical studies. Bell considered making a telegraph controlled by electrical students. So this is his grandfather again. That's like the school, like, that's the school where he went, at the university where he went. Brantford. 
There, Bell worked on his telegraph experiment. Later, a whole sentence was transmitted electrically. Um, but then Bell returned to Boston. There, he worked on a patent for the telephone. Um, he, descri he described and demonstrated the, the telephone at the uh, um, Academy, the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. Many lectures and demonstrations followed. Bell worked and issued a patent for the telephone. On July 11th, Bell married May Bell Hubert and they left, moved to England. In the middle of 1877, the telephone was put to com for commercial use. Mm. Bell made a lot of development to the telephone system. In May 1880, the telephone worked 800 feet apart, starting the telephone company. <coughs> Um, Bell asked his company, a company to make a patent immediately for his telephone. In Britain, Bell made many lectures. <coughs> he gave a private demonstra demonstration to Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria had one of the first telephones installed in Windsor Castle. Um, Thomas Edison helped improve Bell's telephone with his carbon transmitter. Um, in 1875, the Bell Telephone Company was established. Um, the company was known all over America. Then Bell had a son. He left the company, but he kept many shares in the company, which made him very wealthy. Interesting facts about Bell. Um, after the telephone, Bell had one more ambition, to make an airplane. After the Wright brothers, in 1908, Bell with his friends won the award for the first plane to fly one kilometer. Then Bell made a boat, the first boat to go 110 kilometers per hour. On August 1st, Bell at age 75 became ill. The next day, Bell died, holding Maybell's hand. Bell was buried at a hill behind his house. At, at the funeral, the women wore white and the men wore summer clothes. At the time of burial, all the phones were, in the world were silent for one minute in respect for Bell. Though Bell died, his legacy of the telephone lives on today. Um, what, were, what were Bell's contributions to Canada? Um, Bell made the first working telephone. Bell highly advanced the methods of teaching the deaf. Um, Bell made the first plane to fly one kilometer. Bell made the first boat to go 110 kilometers per hour. Bell has made many contributions to Canada and the world. I hope you enjoyed my project on Alexander Graham Bell.